everybody. Today we're going to be going over the, uh, uh, the reverse put away. So let's do that. Today we're going to be going over the reverse put away, which looks like this. It's similar to the forward put away, but you're going to be using the forward spin as a way to put the gun away. So here's how it works. Basically, you're going to use that forward momentum of the gun as it's spinning forward like this to bring it around, under, over, and the barrel is going to hit here on the edge, like this. And then you tip it up and let it go into the holster. It's about some noisy. So here's a quick step-by-step step so everybody can know kind of how this works. So real quick, here's how you're wanting to start. Just kind of let your arm naturally go in a roundabout circle, like this. And kind of let go of the gun. And get used to the momentum of how it swings underneath when you're just letting it. Just learn, kind of get your brain used to how that works. You're going to take that and pivot like this. Once it's at this point, pivot your hand in such a way that it makes the gun come all the way back around, kind of like this. So we're not focusing on the holster yet. We're just focusing on being able to make the gun come all the way around, like that. One full turn. Just one full turn. Now, we have to land the barrel on the edge of the holster, just like this. So we're just going to practice that, bringing it all the way around and letting the barrel hit the edge. And now that we've gotten used to that, all we have to do is tip the gun up and let it fall in and just push into the holster. So let's practice that all the way around, land here, lift it up, push into the holster. Again, again, one more time. And now all we have to do is speed everything up into one solid motion. And that's going to look like this. One more time. One more. And just keep doing it. Just make sure you kind of get it down because it's going to look a little chunky for a little while. And remember, you don't want to land the barrel past the holster because then you can't tip it up and slide it in. You want to make sure that when you land it, it is within the area of the holster. That way you can just tip it up and in. Like that. Sometimes you got to finagle the gun a little bit to get it in there, but and that's okay. It takes you a little bit of time to get real smooth at it. Don't forget, practice the same techniques with your left hand. Now keep in mind, my left hand's a little stupid when it comes to putaways and some of the more trickier tosses, so you have to bear with me. So, same sort of thing. Practice being able to bring it around until it hits the barrel. Oh, this is actually perfect because my left hand doesn't know how to do this at all. So, I'm going to try to learn it alongside with you guys. Here we go. Oh. See, my left hand hasn't quite gotten used to that momentum. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. Bring it around. Up. In. Okay. Bring it around. Oh, that wasn't back far enough. Bring it around. Oh. Oh, come on. You can do it. And 
And remember, another good way to teach your non-dominant hand how to do the same trick as your right hand is to mirror your right hand and do it at the exact same time. It teaches your left hand the processes your right hand goes through to get from point A to point B. And it's going to be a little sloppy and it's going to feel a little sloppy. But eventually, your left hand should be able to mimic your right hand. This is sometimes the extra step that I have to take as well whenever I want to teach my left hand something because, again, my left hand's a little stupid. So. There we go. Another thing to remember, make sure your holsters are perfectly identical on both sides and that your handles are curved slightly outward, not perfectly straight. So slightly outward. Just gives you a little bit more lead way so you can see exactly where your holsters are. Okay, so now that I've kind of learned roughly what that motion looks like by mirroring, I'm going to try to apply it with my left hand only. Just like that. Now that wasn't the best example. That was a little crummy, so we're going to try that again. And that's the key, is to just keep trying. You're going to have flubs every now and then. In fact, for the first 30 or so minutes while you're practicing, it's going to be a little flubby. So just remember to keep going. And eventually, you should be able to do it. Here we go. That was a little smoother. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. See? And now my left hand's starting to get more used to it. And all it took was just a little bit of mirror work, which will also get you used to being able to work with two hands at the same time. Your left hand should be at least good enough to go that all you've got to do is keep doing it and building muscle memory. <laughs> that was a little crummy. Last thing to do, integrate what we've learned into everything that we've learned. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So with my right hand, I'm going to be doing the forward, or sorry, with my left hand, I'm going to be doing the forward put away. And with my right hand, I'll be doing the reverse put away. Since we've already went over that my left hand isn't quite prepared enough to do that put away. And apparently, it's not prepared enough to do the forward one either. Here we go. Whoop. And just like that. I want to thank you guys for watching, and if this video was helpful, uh, <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody for watching. If this video was helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can know when I post new videos. Also, if you guys ran into any problems that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to leave a comment below about it, and we can probably do a follow-up video. This was actually a bit of a learning experience, so I kind of was learning alongside with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Do you think you